I like dudes. Okay, so Overwatch is a multiplayer first-person shooter developed by Blizzard back in 2016. The game was just out of beta, and the roster was finalized, meaning the game was perfect, and winning was determined by a coin flip. Fuck. Blizzard responded with countless patches and fixes to the game to make it more balanced throughout the years. And I gotta say, man, Blizzard, they did a really good job at making an ass game. Now, Overwatch has the ability to make people like it just as much as they detest it, and that is because of the spread of characters' strengths and weaknesses. Every character's peak is as high as their valleys are low, meaning every character is broken, yet fucking garbage. Hey guys, stop throwing. Let me explain. For example, Ash's ability Bob is literally a built-ass robot with 1000 HP aimbot and has the strength and the charm of a built-ass robot. But Ash is balanced out by her other attacking moves because it might as well not be counted as an attacking move because of how little fucking damage it does Widowmaker. She literally has the ability to one-tap most of the roster, but she's balanced out because she's the only character with practically no ultimate and no one knows how to aim in this game. And when I mean every character, I mean, I mean every character. Zenyatta has some of the slowest healing in the game. Doesn't matter, he's the best DPS in the game. Reinhardt has no range. Oh wait, never mind, I was lying. Roadhog has a shotgun and is unable to kill enemies far away. So just kill them anyways. The perfect example is Orisa. Orisa might be one of the dumbest characters because of how good she is. This tank consists of a tanking shield and an ability that tanks damage, a machine gun that hits like a tank, some broken ass, and a vacuum that insta kills tanks. But she's balanced out due to the fact of how painfully boring she is to play. <laughs> Okay, so the gameplay is kind of like this. Oh shit, monkey push me. Please help me. Come on, teammate. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. And we lost the game. Alright, alright. Let me just clear the air and say that after how much I bash this game, it's still pretty fun. Actually, never mind. This game sucks. <laughs> you thought I said this game was bad? Nah, what I meant to say was this game was actually fun. And, and by fun, I mean it sucks ass. Overwatch as a game is too sporadic. You never know what team is going to win, which sounds exciting, but you forget to realize that the overall worst team can win just because of one singular lucky play. Ah! Communication is an obsolete mechanic in the game. Instead of talking to your teammates to form a plan, people tend to do their own separate things until it miraculously works somehow. This makes the game feel random, mainly depending on which player gets the best payoff for their ultimate. And this also makes Overwatch feel like a luck-based game. That is why you can hit the dirtiest clip on an enemy team, while in the same game get absolutely flattened into a pancake. If we were to have good communication, this wouldn't be a problem. But instead... Alright, time to have hot semen sex with all the men. Now like most video games, Overwatch has a ranked portion where all the cool kids play. Overwatch rank system starts from the depths of bronze, to silver, to gold, to platinum, to diamond, to master, to grandmaster, all the way up to the president of Korea. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but you already know I'm one of the highest ranked players in silver. There are four areas in which you can rank up from, that being tank, damage, support, and open queue, all being fucking impossible to rank up from your base SR. And believe me, if you don't get placed any higher than gold, you're not getting higher than that. I swear, this game makes no sense. I could be on fire the entire match, get gold everything, absolutely dominate the other team, and I'll get like... I gained 18, bro. Fair enough. Whilst in a different game, be on fire the entire match, get gold everything, somehow lose and get- Right now, I am bronze in support, silver in damage, unranked in open queue because open queue mad gay, and gold on tank. And to prove that gold is legit dookie, apparently, by leaving 5 games in placement matches with an account new to competitive, you'll automatically be placed in the gold rank. So I guess I'm just that good at the game, because I get gold everything, including my rank. Overwatch's play of the game is a hit or miss for me. I would say around 40% of the plays are actually sick and deserving of a play of the game clip. 10% is an environmental kill, and 50% is just junk rap. Okay, but I will have to say Overwatch is doing their cosmetics very well. 
Most of the skins look very cool, and there's a wide variety of rarities and special event skins as well. If you don't get the skin you want from the boxes, you can always just buy them for credits, which are not too difficult to acquire. All you really have to do is play the game, which could be a pain for some of you. Speaking of loot boxes, you can get all sorts of goodies from them, like sprays, player icons, credits, victory poses, emotes. You can also get voice lines, which might be like the most annoying thing in the world. You can't scare me! I'm- Aesthetically, Overwatch is dope. Real vibrant and colorful, the gameplay could use some work that hopefully Overwatch 2 could resolve, but right now it doesn't look to be so. But overall, Overwatch can be a really fun game sometimes, especially with friends. But alone, it's an ass game, but I still find myself coming back to it for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so to end this video, I found a Tic Tac that kinda encapsulates current Overwatch perfectly. It's so sad to just see this game with so much potential, and they just fumbled the f***ing bag. This could still be the number one game, easily, and I'm being so dead ass. The only thing that's been consistently good Overwatch related is literally just the Overwatch port. Get to, get play,